Well, 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 it looks like I got another compact presario. The first one I got from a year ago has a dead board, so it's mainly used as a practice victim for when I'm working on computer stuff. So why'd I get this second one? Because it has a Pentium 2. Okay, just for the record, I'm IT certified, and some companies use ancient hardware. So we're going to uh, look at all the stuff on the outside, try and see if it works, and then we're gonna- Ugh, this thing needs a cleaning. So, let's get started. Compaq is, or was, a pretty high-profile computer brand, especially in the 90s, being a notable IBM clone creator that sold the Compaq Portable in the 80s. In 1993, they introduced the Compaq Presario, and in I don't necessarily know when we got this thing. I will say this, it's probably from the 90s, judging by its case design, and it's probably from the late 90s of 2. So, let's look at this thing now. On the front, we have a CD drive, a zip drive, a floppy drive, the power button, and underneath this door, which is still here, unlike the door at the top, Ah, I gotta love that old plastic. We have a game port, which is interesting, and two USB ports. On the rear, on the other hand, we have a VGA digital flat panel, parallel, Ethernet, PS2, audio, a modem, and a separated serial port for some reason. So, I didn't get footage of me opening this up on camera, because by this point I had already cracked it open and took a look inside, and it's quite dirty, and also it's really hard to get the power supply out of there to really get a good look at the board. So let's go power this thing on. And it works. I was not entirely 100% sure if this would work at first because of my previous experiences trying compact hardware on this channel. <coughs> but upon powering on the system for the first time in my quote-unquote apartment, it starts a memory test which then fails at around 131,000 kilobytes with this 13201 memory error, followed up with system options not set error which likely means that the CMOS is dead as to be expected with an old compact like this, and then it's rebooted? Well, that's an interesting way to uh, tell that the system is, has a dead CMOS battery. It then proceeded to uh, do another memory test, got stuck again at 131,000 kilobytes, then provided a memory size error. This time it gave us some blue boxes on the bottom with some options, and then after hitting F10 for computer setup, it then gives me one of the most confusing BIOS setup utilities that I have ever seen, and also probably one of the most useless. I don't even know how to set the date on this thing. It's that useless. I mean, it shows the date, but there's system, communications, storage, input devices, multimedia, and exit. And uh, there's no clearly defined way to change settings that are otherwise standard on computers even before this. So then I didn't know what to do, and as such, I just left the BIOS utility without changing anything. Well, at least we can try to give the NAM US a... Oh, uh, yeah, it probably is wanting a floppy disk here. So this basically means that I can't really use any bootable CDs and stick them into here. Well, I did find a compact quick restore disk for this computer, but it's in Dutch, so maybe I might be able to try to give that a shot. But that's pretty much all we can particularly do with this system at the moment. Even the UltraComp 486 system that I got from a grandma would probably be more useful than this. Because its BIOS utility contains a calendar, so at least that's something. However, I think it's time that we should give this thing a cleaning because... <coughs> Now, I've never necessarily cleaned a computer on camera before, however, I feel like I could probably do something about all these, like, markings on the case. Uh, it didn't necessarily go all too well at first because I was using water and a damp cloth. It was able to get one of these markings, but that was about it. 
However, I was then introduced to something known as Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, and well, let me say that for a first impression, this is quite effective. I didn't get too much of this on camera though, because by the time that I got to this point, my phone was running out of storage. But I'll say this, for the amount of money that I paid for this, which was a tinge under the average or cheapest Pentium 2 desktops I could find, it's surprising. Surprisingly not too bad, but I should do something about the <coughs> Oh And I need to still get a hard drive for this thing and I need to get floppy disks that last one is only probably but you get the point point.